No, I don't, I don't think nearly enough uh, Americans are uh, informed even about um, the kind of baseline scenario of, of uh, peak oil and uh, climate change, you know, that those are um, kind of mind-boggling. Uh, realities, even even for people, you know, who are immersed in those issues. Um, so, so I don't think that um, those major and crucial chunks of information have really made it into public awareness in the least, and. Um, when they do sort of break into um, any uh, significant media, there is a massive um, sort of, I mean, it's not always a, a public relations effort, but the, um, there's a natural enough denial reaction that, that arises when people really begin to get that we face energy descent and changed climate. You know, the mind, the mind rebels. And there are also um, vested interests who would like to, um, you know, foster that denial. Um, and so, um, so no, uh, it's not nearly enough people understand it, and um, I don't think that, um, I don't think we learn nearly, we don't learn from disasters, you know, I don't think it would, I mean, we've had plenty of disasters, you know, and, and we don't learn from them. I mean, if Katrina and, and, and the earlier oil crisis in, in the 70s were not enough to, um, you know, sort of uh, introduce these uh, ideas to public consciousness, then, um, you know, the educational value of disasters, I kind of question. It's like there are always oil spills, you know, and, and each one is worse than the last. It, it, seems and yet um, not not very much changes you know the mechanisms are tweaked a little bit so um, I think what it will take is a lot of um, a lot of, of a kind of word of mouth community organizing um, inspirational examples, um, certainly some, uh, all, all kinds of uh, inspiring leadership uh, by example. I mean, it, it would be lovely if people in high office would, you know, engage in some plain speech about these realities. Um, However, you know, they might well be drowned out by a million forms of denial and craziness. Um, so I think, um, I think what's going to be needed is uh, a, a kind of a, a, a vigorous networking uh, of, of this uh, body of thought, you know, that people are going to have to carry it. Um, there are lots of wonderful informational tools that are, are developing for uh, communities and, um, and individuals to sort of work with to inform their neighbors, but I, I, think, um, I think it's going to be kind of each one, each one teach one, you know, um, letters to the editor. I mean, just whatever, you know, whatever um, uh, a medium um, concerned and informed individuals can find to, you know, give voice to 
um, descriptions of this, these, these realities and also um, uh, illuminating some of the potentials for more meaningful lives and, um, and you know, rising to a worthy challenge. Uh, I mean, we, uh, it's a pivotal moment in human history and uh, we can step up to the challenge of being remembered well by future generations.